Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios, and today we're talking about things that we're never adding to Satisfactory. Never. We're going to be talking about things that um, that aren't going to come to Satisfactory. Why are we going to talk about them? Because I think it might just be interesting to talk about what's not coming and why we're not adding them. Maybe you'll find it interesting. Before we get into it, I have a two, two little news points to talk about real quick. And the first is merch. So we actually kind of have like two merch stores now. If you remember way back when we did a video where uh, there was a Kickstarter by uh, Dave from Heroic Replicas doing some cool satisfactory merch stuff with a Kickstarter campaign. They've now launched a shop where you can pre-order some of those things, including a mug, by the way, a couple of mugs, uh, as well as Lizard Doggo plushies, uh, Zeno Basher and stuff like that. Um, yeah, various things. You can now pre-order stuff on that site. So that's lizarddoggo.com, link in the description below. But also also, we still have our other store, which is now uh, with Good Smile. It used to be for fans, by fans, uh, but all that merch is still there, the t-shirts and stuff. But they also have a Lizard Doggo plushie available for pre-order as well. So we have three kinds of plushies now uh, of varying sizes and prices. So maybe there'll be a plushie that you'd be interested in getting. One thing to note, though, is both of these stores ship from the US. So anyone outside of the US, for example, folks in EU, uh, shipping can get a little loopy. So um, this is still something that we're trying to solve and tr to try to find solutions for. But these two stores still do ship pretty much everywhere in the world. It's just, yeah, sometimes shipping's not not as good as as you would you would hope. But um, you know, check it out, see if there's anything that you might be interested in. Links for both those stores in the description below. The other thing I want to say real quick is there's been an update to the game, and I'll link in the description below patch notes to the update. It's just a bit of a minor update, some bug fixes and stuff. But okay, that's enough. That's all out of the way. Let's get on with what we're not adding, what we're not adding to the game. Now, before I do get right into it, another little disclaimer, I'm sorry. I'm just doing this because I think it might be fun and you guys might find the reasons why we're not adding things interesting. And this is not a video where I'm trying to like stop people from requesting things. If you hear these next six things that we're not adding and you still like them and you want to let us know, by all means, let us know. We want to keep the communication open. We want you guys to be able to give feedback whenever you want, however you want and whatever it is. So you can still do that in comments below and things like that but the best place is by far the QA site, questions.satisfactorygame.com. We always want to hear what it is that you guys want. Um, yeah, bug, bug reports or suggestions can go there. So uh, without further ado, let's get on to the first thing. The first thing that we're not adding to Satisfactory is going to be base defense or tower defense, those kinds of elements of the game. So a lot of people have requested uh, to have creatures attack your factory and then you need to sort of fight them off, repair your factory potentially, or uh, build turrets to uh, make sure that your factory stays safe. So basically, you know, the fauna attacking your factory. Uh, this is not something that we're actually gonna be adding to Satisfactory. It's something that's been requested, but we have said it for many years that this is not an, an element of gameplay that we'll be adding to Satisfactory. One of the reasons for that is it's just kind of not the game we're making. We have a different vision of the game. We kind of want our game to be chill and relaxed. We don't really want the world to impose itself on you. It, the opposite, in fact, you impose yourself on the world. Creatures attacking your factories uh, and base defense kind of flies in the face of that. We do sort of have like the exploration side of the game and and that does, you know, aid to provide a little bit more of a stressful or chaotic or um, uh, dynamic side of uh, of the game. Um, but, you know, again, this is something that you can choose to do when you're feeling ready for it. You know what I mean? That's the, the, the key sort of difference there and, and the key reason why base defense doesn't really fit in. Another reason we can't really do it is that like this is not something that you can just add like this is something we would have had to decide on in the beginning that we wanted and built the game around in that direction. Uh, it's now certainly way too late five years into making this game. I think we're five years. Uh, it's certainly way too late for us to then uh, to now start thinking of base defense and adding those in because it's just it's going to be too much work technically uh, and then also like design wise it's just going to cause way too many headaches and and it's you know it's entirely possible that we could achieve it but what we could also achieve in that same amount of time and with the same amount of resources is to improve the game that we're trying to make in 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 a in a more meaningful way rather than pivot into something new so base defense is pretty much off the table it's not going to happen in satisfactory with a pretty high confidence so the second thing that we're not adding to satisfactory is going to be factory maintenance and you'll probably start to see a lot of parallels between the reasons for this compared with what i've already said with base defense so factory maintenance being that uh your buildings maybe they shut down or you need to clean up your factory or repair certain buildings for various reasons and again it's the same kind of thing where we want things to be chill we want people to play at their own speed and we don't really want the world to impose itself on you rather you seek out 
the things that you want to do yourself. Uh, and we think that buildings sort of just periodically breaking down or needing maintenance is not really something that will sort of help in, in that regard. Uh, people do bring up an interesting like solution for this because we've talked about this before, but people do bring up an interesting solution where they're thinking, you know, well, wouldn't it be cool if you have little AI robots that run around and maintain your buildings for you, your factory for you to make sure, you know, things can keep up and running so you don't have to keep running back and forth. Um, and I mean, that's certainly a really cool idea. I, I like the idea of like little robots in your factory, but it, it really does seem that we're just gonna be like justifying that we're gonna be adding a really tedious aspect of the game, which is your factory buildings breaking down just so we can add cool robots. So what we would sort of say is like, well, wouldn't it just be better if the cool thing is like robots? What if we just like found a reason to add little robots in the game? So I don't know, like, do you think little robots running around your factory would be fun? I think it would be fun. I just don't know what they would do, though. So if you have any ideas for what little uh, like labor robots could do, by all means, let us know in the comments below. So the third thing that we're not adding to Satisfactory is going to be survival elements. And by that, I mean things like hunger and thirst. And and again, it's the same kind of reasons. It's not really the game we want to make. We don't really like having to disrupt you in that way. Um, we don't really think that that's going to add too much to at least to the game that we're trying to make. Obviously, survival elements are something that a lot of people enjoy in many games. They're in many games, uh, and that's that's all well and good. We can understand why people would maybe like that in their games, um, but it's just not something that we think fits for our game. The other thing is if you sort of just take the thinking a little further and you, and you imagine, well, what do you do in Satisfactory? Satisfactory is all about automation. And so if there are survival elements and you need like food or some kind of sustenance or, or you know, drink or something like that, then like the challenge of that would probably, should probably center around automation as well. And if there was some way for you to automate the creation of that, then again, we're just int introducing a random tedious step that we would automate away uh, and essentially would just be kind of redundant in the end. So we don't really think that survival is necessary for Satisfactory. Again, it strays from our original direction as well, but we also just think it wouldn't end up really working too well in our game. So yeah, not something we're going to be adding. So we've made it to the halfway point. I kind of want to take a little breather for a second and I want to talk about just something that I've said for the previous three things. So in all three things, I've kind of mentioned that it's not the game we're making and like the thing is, I think this maybe feels like a cop out reason. I've given other reasons for them as well, but but that particular reason is something that might feel like a cop out reason or, or maybe even feel a little dismissive. But I, I want to add a little weight to it because it's a very, very important reason. It's a very deliberate thing that we need to take care of when we decide what we were going to be doing in the game. So before a game developer sets out to make a game, they have near endless possibilities of what they can make. They can make pretty much any game. But when they sit down to make a specific game, they can no longer make any game or every game. They can only make the game that they're making. Do you know what I mean? The game that you're making is, is just what it is. Or another way to think about it is that the game that you're making is also specifically not what it isn't. There are more things that your game isn't then there are things that, that that your game is. Does that make any sense? And so from the perspective of where you are with your game, it's very, very easy to look out and find other things, um, you know, things that your game isn't and see value in them and, and think, well, maybe I should put that in my game. And this is something that developers struggle with all the time. Uh, it's always very hard to think about, well, what should I be bringing in from the outside? So one example that I can kind of give here is just if we just take, for example, the argument of like, well, should Satisfactory have more chaotic or urgent or stressful um, elements to its gameplay or should it remain peaceful and kind of chill, right? Um, and the thing is like, you can go either way and there's value in either direction, right? So Satisfactory could be more stressful, more chaotic, have more urgency in it. And that could still absolutely be a good game. I can imagine that kind of game and I can imagine there being fun there. Right. But I can also imagine the game as it is now where it is more chill and there's a lot of fun and value in this as well. And so you can have these two competing ideas where where the game could be more chaotic and stressful or it could remain chill and, you know, calm. Right. These two ideas are fundamentally incompatible with each other for the most part, but they're both still valid and both still viable. So what do you do in that case? Like you can't really have everything because if you try and blend them together, you get something else. You don't get chaotic and peaceful, you get a blend, which is different to the other two. And so some folks might say, well, then what if you just have options so that people can set the game to chaotic or set the game to peaceful? But then you're just making two games, right? Like you can have game modes that kind of modify the way that the game is if you wish, but you need to have a base game to modify to begin with. So what do you do in that case? The only thing you can do is just pick something, choose something, and then do that. 
Like I said before, you can't make every game, you can only make the game that you're making. So it's just important for us to make a decision on what is our game, what direction does our game go in, and it's really important for us to stick to that and make that as good as possible because it is really, really easy to grab other ideas and introduce more things just because they're good. And it's really important that like ideas that are outside of what your game are being good is not alone a justification for that one, that feature being part of your game or two, that your game is actually lacking something. That doesn't actually mean that at all. It's just inevitable because there's more things that your game isn't than what it is that there's going to be other things on the outside that seem valuable, right? So I hope that makes some sense. Uh, I don't know if I did a really good job of explaining it, but if I did, leave a thanks, Chase. Helps a lot in the comments below. Okay, so we're going to get back to it, but the next three things are actually three things that are actually, we feel, in line with what Satisfactory uh, is and what we're striving for, but we actually still don't think that we're going to be adding them, and let's see what the reasons may be okay so the fourth thing that we're not adding to satisfactory is going to be green energy and by that i mean solar power or like wind power so the first reason we don't really want to add uh green energy to satisfactory is because like thematically like lore wise it doesn't really fit so well the point of satisfactory is you come down to this beautiful pristine like planet and then you exploit it without care for it you know that's kind of one of the thematic you know driving forces of the game right uh, and so we think that green energy doesn't really make sense in this space. Like, what, why is Fixit now offering green technology, you know? Um, it would certainly be interesting to have as a just a mechanic. Uh, and, you know, so, so we can sort of understand it from that point. It, it would definitely be interesting. Uh, but, you know, thematically it doesn't make much sense. But, uh, you know, and that's a reason. But it, that's also like, you know, I would say kind of a weak one because we could just change the theme of the game and add green energy, right? But there is another major, major reason, which is the real nail in the coffin for green energy and why we can't really add it. And that is simply because there is a massive balancing issue with it. So in Satisfactory, all power sources require a steady supply of resources. And in fact, the entire game is built around not amassing things, but but improving your supply rate, right? Parts per minute or whatever. Power supplies such as uh, green energy would not need that at all. They would break away from that completely. They wouldn't have hard limitations of supply uh, applying to them. And so that would make them incredibly overpowered as a power source. Time and supply per minute is like the, the, the driving thing in Satisfactory. And they're the, the limiting factors that we sort of apply whenever we look into any form of balancing within Satisfactory. And however, Green energy wouldn't rely on either of those things. They would sort of rely on space, like where you can build them, build solar panels, for example, or just like parts. You just need to stockpile a lot of parts, but those two things aren't really resources in Satisfactory. They're effectively infinite. You, you're you not gonna run out of space. You're gonna run out of frames per second before you run out of space in Satisfactory. Let's be real here. And, and you're not gonna really run out of parts either. You could just leave your PC on overnight and you're gonna come back to more parts. They don't really work well with the systems that we rely on to create create, you know, limitation and conflict or whatever within the game uh, to create challenge. They, 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 green energy operates outside of that. And for that reason, we can't really add green energy to the game. It's just kind of too strong. There are like ways that we could solve it. Like there are some things that could be done. For example, uh, we could balance it by having the buildings um, either cost a lot or maybe they um, produce really, really low amounts of power that could sort of balance it a little bit, but but then you need to realize that the balancing there is just tedium, right? We're offsetting their power by making them really tedious to build. So we need to think, okay, is that the kind of fun we want to introduce? We need to introduce tedium, more tedium to satisfactory so that you can have green power. We just don't think that's adding a, a positive element to the game. So yeah, some folks have also suggested, well, what if you need to maintain them, clean them or something like that? But then we get back to the factory maintenance argument that we sort of mentioned before. So yeah, it really looks like green energy is not gonna be going ahead in satisfactory. There is one sort of caveat that we have talked about and that is like hydropower might be interesting because space is limited. There's only so many waterfalls on the map. So there's a potential for that there, but we'll have to see. The fifth thing that we're not adding to Satisfactory is going to be terraforming, another really, really highly requested feature. A lot of people love the idea of terraforming. We can see the value in terraforming as well. It's, you know, you don't really need to convince us that it's a cool uh, feature. It certainly is. We've played games that have terraforming in them and it's, it's, it's a great feature to have. And it feels like a bit of a no-brainer for Satisfactory. And I mean, 
I mean, it would work with Satisfactory. I think it's in line with Satisfactory. Um, the problem with terraforming is that, first of all, it's just too late for us to add it now. Uh, this is, and it has been for years. This is something that we would need to build in mind, te like technically, so that we could actually have that sort of functionality. Um, so for the first part, there's the technical aspect. It's just too late five years in to start shoehorning this feature into the game. The second thing is we have a handcrafted map and this map is crafted specifically to be played exactly the way that it is. Uh, and uh, it was not uh, created with uh, the thought that you could deform it in mind. And so the current map just wouldn't work well with, with terraforming anyway, even if we could do it. It's not balanced for it. If we were to add terraforming, we would need a different map that works with terraforming. It's too much to, to do to make it a thing, to make it uh, a reality. And we just don't really think it's kind of possible or feasible. We would be undoing a lot of work that we've done before. Uh, and yeah, not, not really something that we're gonna be straying into. The sixth thing on this list of things that we're not adding to Satisfactory, and this is a no-brainer, we, we had to talk about it. We had to talk about it, and it's gonna be golf. Why? Easy. Golf sucks. I'm just kidding, all right? I mean, golf does suck, I'm not kidding about that. But we're not, we're not not adding it because golf sucks. We're not adding it because Snoot lost, okay? You saw the video, all right? Snoot, lo Snoot lost, we would have added it, but he, you know, he lost. This can't be happening. Okay, no, for real. For real, though, uh, it's it's fun clowning on golf a little bit, and we had a, we had a lot of fun with the community with golf. But it is it is a feature that a lot of people genuinely like, kind of wanted to see in the game and was really hoping for. And we're actually disappointed when we announced that it wasn't coming. And um, so I just want to like take a moment to acknowledge that. Yeah, we we sort of see that. We get it. And we tried to sort of like get golf going internally as well because we saw how how many people wanted it it's something that could happen if there were people within the team who sort of like banded together and, and had a vision for it and were excited to do it and then they could maybe make that happen but we currently don't really have that at the moment it's possible folks could make it in their creative time the employees at coffee stain have a little bit of time every week to kind of just do whatever they want and they could you know folks could make golf in that time but no one no one really has a vision for it no one really wants to really do it quite frankly there's there's that element and then if we were to try and put it into the to the regular planning it's just never going to be prioritized over the plethora of other things that we must do for satisfactory to be a good game so unfortunately golf is just never going to make the cut it seems uh at this stage it's not entirely possible that it won't exist in some way shape or form but it's pretty unlikely and it's gonna yeah it, for the most part we could probably call it dead quite frankly but uh it was a lot of fun to joke about it with the <laughs> i say joke but some people were some people were serious but it was it was a fun moment in history but yeah it will probably never be so uh F's in the chat for golf, you guys. So yeah, those are the six things that are definitely not coming to Satisfactory. At least they're not coming anytime soon. Um, now, just some closing words real quick. I I assume that some people will be like, well, you know, you said pipes weren't gonna be coming and they came. Yeah, okay, well, maybe. Maybe all six of these things are coming, you guys. You also might be thinking, well, they didn't say X, therefore X is coming. Who knows? There's many things though. There are many things that aren't coming or there are many things that like, uh, probably won't be coming, but we would like to do, but we don't think are gonna get around to it, that we actually removed from this list because we want to leave the options open that those things could still happen. Anyway, I hope you like this video. This is a different kind of video. We just thought it would be fun. We thought that maybe you would find this interesting. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, bye-bye. thinking a little bit on and be like, okay, if, if you could, uh, okay, if you, if you, okay, this is ridiculous.